Hi, Patrick Glenn here. I'm trying to work out uh, Clementine by Elliot Smith. This is the bridge. I think this is the fourth part of this series for this song. And um, if you've been following up until now with the other <clears throat> sections of the tune, um, for the beginning, the intro, the verse, chorus, the bass notes were like these big, long um, half notes that were ringing out. Then for the bridge section, we get into this kind of like Travis picking, alternate bass picking. So if you're not familiar with that, it's probably worth just focusing on that in the beginning uh, after you get the chords down. So the chords for this um, bridge, a little bit strange, uh, or, you know, not the typical ones, but based around the typical ones you might normally see. So you have this F, but we're also going to have this open B string with the F. And then the G, I just play with my third finger because we're going to be playing um, some other melody notes with different fingers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, C major, everybody knows that one. D7 with an F sharp in the bass. Uh, that's kind of a standard one. Then we have this F. This one's, this one might be rough. Um, so it's basically, it's based around this F bar chord, right? If that's not hard enough. And then I'm going to put my second finger on the fifth here, the C on the fifth string, so that I can reach my pinky to the high A on the first string, fifth fret on the first string. And then I'm really just playing the um, sixth string, fifth string, still have the bar on the second string, and then the fifth fret on the first string. So, ooh, that's a rough one. Um, then D major, F major, um, we're gonna end up with this F major kind of six, uh, the open third string, and then um, <clears throat> G6 at the end, which is weird. It's kind of based around this kind of like a G bar chord, but we want to get the six, this E, and I also like getting this open G string ringing out, so have this kind of strange fingering for it. Um, so if you get the chords down, yeah, the second thing would be that, that Travis picking, that alternate bass line, right? So it's basically, you got your thumb going back and forth, usually like root fifth kind of thing for each chord. So if I went through this whole section with just the, um, the bass line, it'd be like this. We have F, and I'm gonna try to hold the rest of the chord, G, seven with an F sharp in the bass and then that big stretch of the F to a D major F and then that G6 so that's just a bass line going the thumb back and forth through all those chords and then it's just adding the melody on top of that right which is not that tricky Putting the two together gets a little bit tricky, but the melody itself, let's see if I could play it. It's just like, uh, one, two, three, four. I threw some bass notes in there just by accident, just kind of have it, I guess. But you can tell the melody is not that uh, complex, but putting the two together does get a little bit tricky. So um, let's see, if I start from the beginning. Um, seems kind of straightforward, but if you're not used to that picking, that Travis picking, that might throw you off a little bit. So um, if that's not too easy, I would say definitely break it down to just getting the thumb going and then try to throw in that melody, so. Right, there's like some kind of syncopation stuff going on there. Let's see if there's anything else tricky. Um, we'll take it from the top again. That 
That's a little bit tricky right there. I kind of, after the C, I put a G with my pinky on the third fret of the first string, and I slide down to the second fret, and then I have my second finger in the bass here for this D7 F sharp. And I don't think Elliot Smith actually does that in this tune. Um, I think I kind of stole that from another Elliot Smith song where he does that kind of like, but I kind of like the way it sounded. So um, forgive me if this is overly complicated, but um, yeah, I took it from another tune. I forget which one. Oh, so then the big thing here is the F on the fifth bar here. That one might be a little tricky. As you can see from my hand, it looks like it should be painful, right? I'm kind of used to it for some reason, but um, yeah, so I kind of have this fifth, the bottom, but with my first and second finger, you know, usually you play with your third finger. And then I'm gonna keep that bar so I can get that first fret on the second string and then the melody note up here. So here's that Travis picking, right? And with the melody. Um, it's a little tricky. I tried playing this C uh, up here. That was even more tricky, I think. Um, so I liked it better like this. So this one, you know, don't get tinnitus. You know, if this is a little too much, figure out a different way to do it. Um, let's see, what's a different way we can do it? Um, We could do something like this. You know, there's different ways to get these kind of notes. So where are we coming from here with the D7? You could figure out a way. Um, the D is not too tricky, I don't think. And then that last F's not too bad. This last G6. First of all, that fingering is a little bit strange. I got my first finger on the sixth string, second finger on the fifth string, third finger on the fourth string, third string open, and then my pinky on the fifth fret of the second string. And the Travis picking again, just doing these low notes. Um, and you end up with this melody. And then I do this kind of slide and a pull off. Well, oh, I didn't notate that pull off in the tab. I'll have to fix that. It goes back to the C for the verse. Let's see, I gotta figure out. That kind of thing. So, uh, sorry I'm rushing through it here. It's still like, what, almost 10 minutes, right? Um, I can't seem to condense these things too well. Um, but I hope that helps you. Let me know if you have any questions, um, any comments about that, and uh, maybe I could figure out a way to make that F easier. I'll check that out. Let me know if, uh, if this one is too much for you. Um, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, I think there's just one more part of this tune. It goes back to the verse, chorus, and then the second chorus, there's like an extra bit that doesn't happen the first time, which is pretty cool. It's that kind of cool thing. So I'll, I'll work out that one too and uh, get that out to you. Uh, thanks.